it would be very rare for me to go through a year without reading at least a hundred books. I read a book about every two to three days. So you're reading two or three books a week, as do I. Explain to viewers what role does reading play in a leader's ultimate success, regardless of what field they're in? I think first and foremost, by diving into a book, particularly here, I'm going to uh, choose fiction and historical fiction. Mm -hmm. A book of that nature can become, if you will, a simulator where you can put yourself at the center of it and say, what would I have done? Think about um, Stephen Pressfield's magnificent novel, Gates of Fire, about the Spartans who make the commitment, the ultimate commitment to fight and to die at the Battle of Thermopylae. Reading that book, you can put yourself in their shoes. You can understand their motivations. You can ask yourself, would I have the courage and the commitment and the honor to undertake that mission? You learn a lot doing that. Secondly, by reading history, you gain perspective. You can look back at previous times and apply those lessons of applied history. I often pick up the, Thuc the works of Thucydides, the Greek famous ancient historian, and his stories of the Peloponnesian Wars between Athens and Greece. A lot of what went into my novel, 2034, came out of that particular historical period. And third and finally, policy, current events. You can pick up a book by any number of brilliant scholars, and it's not quite the same as being in a conversation with Henry Kissinger, but you're reading the words and the philosophies and the ideas that he's communicated, deeply important to understand. Again, when I decided to write this book, I reread Henry Kissinger's magisterial treatment of China. His book mm -hmm. is called On China. And it helped me immensely as I prepared to write this book and as I continue to do commentary about US-Chinese relations. So there's three reasons, Carmen.